Hey guys, it's me Fizz here, and today I'll teach you how to make a super jump or leap. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so first off, you're going to want to add a local script into starter character scripts. You can open that up and start typing in what I'm typing. Local user input service equals game colon get service user input service. Now we're going to go to replicate storage and add a folder called jump folder. Inside there, there's going to be a folder called remotes and another folder called effects. Now go back to your scripts and type local main folder equals replicated storage colon wait for child jump folder. Local remotes equals main folder colon wait for child remotes. Now inside the remotes folder we made, add an event called event. And back in the script, type local event equals remotes colon wait for child event. Now we're going to do local player equals game dot players dot local player local character equals player on um, wait actually no uh, character local yeah uh, user input service dot input began colon connect function. Now that's where the main script's going to be. Now we'll add some configurations which is stuff that you guys can change up. So local cooldown equals five. Local key equals enum dot key code dot z, z and local. Actually, no, that's unnecessary. Local D bounce equals false up there. Now we can add input and typing inside the function brackets. And if typing, then return end. And if input dot key code equals key and D bounce equals false, then D bounce equals true. Event colon fire server. And then wait cooldown. And D bounce equals false. So now that's it for the local script. Let's get right into the rest. Alright, so we're just going to copy off this top part and then inside server script servers, we're going to create a new script and you guys can name it whatever you want. I'm just changing up these names to make it easier to remember. So jump server and jump client. So inside the server script, we can paste down what we just copied and we can continue the script, adding a few more things. So now we're going to add the effects folder. So local effects equals main folder colon wait for child effects an event on server event colon connect function player so this receives the player so print event fired now we're going to test whether the code is working and as you can see it's working because event fired prints in our output so now let's continue the script local character equals player dot character local humanoid root part equals character colon wait for child humanoid root part that's the root part of the character and this is the local humanoid equals character colon wait for child humanoid which will run our animation now we're making local velocity equals instance dot new body velocity and the parent is humanoid root part which we used with a comma velocity of max force equals very high numbers and add in these two lines now adding the animations we can make a new instance called animation and the parent is script the ID we can paste later with your animation ID. So now I'm going to show you a speed run of me making this animation. So I'm just going to go in plugins, animation editor, name my animation and start animating. So yeah, now when you're done your animation, just make sure it's set to action, publish it to Roblox and copy the ID. Now we can go back into the script and write a few more lines of code, making the humanoid load the animation, colon play. Now we'll paste our animation and make sure we put Roblox asset ID in front of it. Now let's add the weight and I'm going to just make it so that the character stops moving while it's delayed. If we test that, as you can see, the animation's working. Now I'm going to add a sound and just paste that inside jump client. And now open up jump client and copy what I do. Since my jump delay is 0.5, I'm going to add that to wait cooldown. And now we're going to make it so that the audio plays. So script.jump sound colon play. So make sure that you put that as the name of your audio. So yeah, it's working and it looks really cool. Now I'm going to add a cool effect to the jump. So you can grab that from the description now put it inside the effects folder make sure it's can't collide off can't query off 
Anchored is true though, and can touch is false, and massless is true. Now go into the server script again, and now we can add that. So local effect equals effects dot shockwave. Now I'm going to change that actually because that's too similar to the other one. So now after the wait 0.5, local shockwave clone equals shockwave colon clone. Shockwave clone dot parent equals workspace. Yeah, workspace. Shockwave clone dot position equals humanoid root part dot position. And now we're going to use game dot debris to make it so that the script isn't affected while the shockwave clone gets deleted. So game dot debris colon add item. Inside the brackets, we're going to write shockwave clone and then comma the time it takes to destroy it, which is 0.5 seconds. All right now, if we test that and it's working and I know I'm not a great animator, but that does look quite good. All right, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please comment down below what you'd like me to do. Just know that I'm not one amazing scripter so yeah i'll do my best thanks guys so much and fizz out